I started out my teaching career in Arizona at a junior high, teaching math, of course. I was successful in math, so whenever you're successful at something, you start loving it. It just came easy, and I just enjoyed it and loved it. I just enjoyed getting an opportunity to teach students the math for understanding the math and how it all comes together, the way I enjoyed it. And um, I didn't have to be regimented. I was allowed to do the way I wanted to do it. And I think that's what I fell in love with, that I could develop myself into teaching that diversified group of students, but in so many different ways because the students were so different. Um, and they allowed me to do that. Always continue to learn, especially when you're a brand new teacher and, and you're probably pretty good at math, but continue to study it to get at such comfort level to have the in-depth understanding and then you can communicate that understanding much better with the students. Experience is what really develops the teacher, not just the student but also the teacher. And if you don't know the answer to something, just admit it to the student. I don't know, but let's find out about it. Uh, so any kind, anytime a student comes and asks a question, don't pretend that you know all the answers. I think a student appreciates it much more if you just say, I really don't know, but let's go find out. So I've gone from one extreme to the other extreme through my career. Uh, I've taught the university level, the high school level, junior high school level. So I've really been fortunate in experiencing all these different, different types of students in different states. So this award to come just when I'm retiring is kind of like icing on the cake. I mean, it really makes me feel like uh, it's the end of the career, but it's going out with, with a bang. So, and then um, it, it just means like I feel like I'm really appreciated for what I've really worked hard on, because it is hard. Teaching is hard work. If you want to be a successful teacher, it's hard work. This is my 23rd year of teaching. Um, this year I have taken on a new adventure. For my first 22 years, I was in the classroom. I started off in Memphis, moved here, and I taught fourth grade. And then I have taught kindergarten and first grade up until this year, and this year I am teaching PE. It's been fun. Um, I kind of think of this as my mission field, and I went from touching 20 children a year to now I get to touch over 300, and I get to work with all of them. So I'm enjoying that part. And I've got a little group that I'm tutoring in the mornings and reading, and they came not even knowing their name, and now they can, um, they're writing their name, they recognize their name, and they've learned six letters. So just seeing, seeing the process of them learning and making major progress. Keep your head above water the first year. Um, in time, you will be able to set those landmark goals that you want to do and the dreams that you want to do. But the first year, keep your head above water, get your systems in place, um, your organization systems, your behavior plans, the way you want to run your classroom. And then that second year, when you're comfortable with the things in your realm, then start branching out and helping other people. Well, now that I'm the PE teacher, um, I am learning more about movement and how movement helps the brain. Um, I was one of those kinesthetic children. I like to move. Um, there's rhythm, you know, you can do rhythm with math, you can do rhythm with um, when you're doing syllables. You know, if a child is working on his work and he's standing up, hey, that's fine, he's working, you know. I'm not one of these sit down and stay still. I, I just like movement, and kids do too. Kids spend too much time on the couch nowadays. And if I can get them to move here and enjoy movement and take it into their future, I have accomplished something, especially with that being my PE place now. I am honored to have been selected. This is a great honor for me. Um, education is work. It's, you know, people say, oh, you get the summers off. Yeah, but when the summer's off, we're thinking again of what we're going to do and how can we do it better for the children for next year. 
So I'm just, I'm honored. I appreciate it. <laughs> I first started teaching back in 1975. I've taught in uh, the Jackson area. I've taught in North Carolina for two years. I've taught at Sanford University in Birmingham for two years. And this is my 21st year at this school. One of the things I really like is it's different every year. You know, have a whole new group of students come in every year. They have different personalities. It's a different dynamic. So it's always something to look forward to. I always look forward to August coming around and, and starting a new year with, with the group of students. Uh, probably the best thing is the, is the students. Uh, uh, our students are, they're very uh, intelligent, they are very polite, uh, uh, excellent to work with, they're motivated. Uh, it's just a whole lot of good things about teaching here. I have very good colleagues. I teach uh, a lot of classes that I like teaching. Uh, I teach American literature, classical literature, uh, I teach a class in Western philosophy, and I teach a class in U.S. history as well. So I get to teach a variety of things, and I get to teach with some very, very good students, and I have good colleagues in administration. So everything's good about this place. You have to, in, you have to enjoy working with young people. I don't know if you can make yourself do that, but that, that is one thing that it takes. You, you, you have to like coming to school. You have to like interacting with young people. You have to like dealing with them. And of course, you have to keep up with your, with your field. You need, to, you need to, to do research. You need to work and stay current with what you're doing. So if you can be competent in what you're teaching and you can enjoy the interactions with students, you can have a good career in education. I like being part of uh, uh, this school. I like having made my life part of the intellectual life. That, that, that I'm part of that. I have friends and colleagues. Uh, we talk books, we talk uh, plays, we talk movies, just my, my whole circle, my whole world uh, as part of education has been something that's been very important to me and, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Well, it means a lot actually. It's very nice for, the, for the, this foundation here to have this. Uh, I've been teaching for a very long time and so uh, there are other, I have colleagues here who are in the Master Hall of Teachers uh, they're very fine teachers and to be part of that group, to me it is a great honor and it's something that, that I'm proud of and I, and I appreciate uh, the people doing this. When I finished at Kansas State, I um, was, uh, came directly here. The job was advertised in the Chronicle of Higher Education and uh, I, I don't think there's a better teaching environment anywhere. Uh, the students are phenomenal. Um, very much um, open to what it is I think is most important in my discipline. Uh, it's certainly higher than the state standards at this point and so th there's never an issue of keeping up with what the state requires. And we're always ahead of that and certainly in, in the sciences here and uh, we have a laboratory component. We have all kinds of other venues where you get to interact with these phenomenal students uh, both academic or otherwise. Uh, everything from youth legislature and uh, to uh, competitions to engineering projects uh, and it's very uh, rewarding to be uh, learning with these students on a regular basis. Well I was nominated by one of my peers for this and, and much to my surprise um, it is ultimately something that does give me some recognition from outside of my classroom and my immediate supervisors, which is kind of nice, um, especially that it was reviewed externally. It's uh, refreshing to see that other people respect what I've been able to accomplish over the years. I have been teaching for 23 years. This is year 23. Um, I taught, I went to Mississippi State uh, and then graduated in 1991 and returned home to Key West and taught 11 years there, taught third and fourth grade. Um, and then my family moved back to Mississippi and I've been here at Ward Stewart for 12 years, so 
23 and I've taught fourth and fifth grades here at Ward Stewart. I love working with the kids, um, but I love that every day I can be somebody different and every day is a fresh start for them and really just knowing that I have shown them how learning can be fun. Balancing personal life and professional life. Um, finding a balance at school, there's so many things that we have to uh, do in a day. Um, my job starts early in the morning and um, I take lots and lots of things home. I work on the weekends. I jokingly say, you know, that I work 365 days a year. So finding the balance um, where I don't live for school, but I don't neglect my students, that's probably my biggest challenge. Teaching is not something that you can uh, do sprinting. It's a marathon. You really have to look at it from a 30-year perspective um, that nothing is permanent. It's If you're having a bad time, it's not going to be the end-all be-all. Um, and also to find a mentor to find uh, another teacher or another group that can support you in your efforts um, and make sure you have a really good support system at home. Um, so finding support and pacing yourself for the long journey, those are the two things that I would suggest that new teachers keep in mind. I'm very honored and thrilled to uh, be chosen for this honor. Um, teaching is very often a, a day by day thing that you don't always feel like what you're doing is recognized and so I'm just honored and thrilled that I can represent Mississippi and my school and my administrators um, and I'm, I'm just I'm just thrilled. I've actually spent my entire career in Tupelo, in the Tupelo Public Schools. I uh, did my student teaching at Pier Street and then did um, a student teaching section at Milam, which is, well, at the time was a fifth and sixth grade school and got hired there by Mr. Stone and stayed there for 19 years. And over the years I taught um, in different settings, departmental and two teacher and different things like that and did math and science. And um, I always thought that it would be really cool to be in the media center and finally got my nerve up to take the Praxis test and passed that and so became certified in media specialist and was able to be lucky enough to get a job um, here at Rankin and so I've been here just since August in my new role here at Rankin. I have had the opportunity to work with some younger teachers and um, new teachers in the profession and I mean the, the biggest thing is to be flexible. There are um, so many different programs that we come across and so many different situations from year to year that come through um, the district level and that change from year to year and so just to be flexible and to um, stick to the things that you know are um, influential for the students and use those things that, that come from year to year but but um, just stick with your gut and know what you know to do with kids. The best part of teaching definitely is the, the eyes of the children. You know, um, you always hear you can see those kids light up and, and you really can, especially um, whether it's a math problem that they finally understand or um, what was so fun was doing hands-on science with my kids, my sixth graders, and watching them um, make a hypothesis and then try to experiment with it and see if it really worked or if it didn't and see those oohs and ahs and then um, really even here in the reading trying to promote the kids to read and getting them to read and um, take AR tests and see that excitement on their faces when they actually um, had success. I would like to say that I promote public education, I promote going into the education field and it's been a, a wonderful place for me to be. I've always felt like um, I was right where God wanted me to be and so um, if, if future teachers are out there and they're, they're wondering that then I would just encourage them to follow through with it. <laughs>